Следната презентација ќе ја слушнеме од Карол Наројчек, видеонадзор во Фокусот. Пред да му посакаме добри деде на сцената, да ве подсетиме дека доколку сакате да се пријавите за сити турата и да го разгледате нашиот град Скопје, да дознаете нешто повеќе за историјата на Скопје и на Македонија, можете да се пријавите во хала 2 на штандот 79. So you have to take your place at the city tour for tomorrow. You can vote on the official website for the case study competition. And after Carol finishes his 15 minutes, we have a special present for all of you who are here. So stay with us. Eden Aplous, we mulam za dobri dede na Karol Narojček. Povilet. Hello, good morning everybody. Thanks that you came. This is the second day, so not so easy day. After first day, it was tough for me. A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of meetings, a lot of things to do, but finally everybody came here. Thanks for that. During the first day, we, uh, mainly we heard that, okay, everybody are going to the future, that we have data increasing, that everybody would like to have the better surveillance, better artificial intelligence, better protection of the access control of perimeters of any others. Okay, but we have many, many endpoints, but how about the data? Like my previous colleague from High Vision said that, okay, we have, we have faces, we have photos, okay, but we must have a storage to protect the data. This is the case only from the, from the access control, but let's focus on the surveillance. What's going on in surveillance? We have, in the previously we had that we have one megapixel cameras, two megapixel, right now it's 16 or 32, or even, even higher it will be maybe next year. So, in general, database is growing every, everywhere. Uh, and every day, and from 2018, when it was created 32 zettabytes all over the world, and the prediction is that we'll have 175 zettabytes in 2025. So that means that this explosion of data. What is the prediction where we would like to put it? I know that everybody would like to have the many, many photos in, the, in the, their own cameras, their own recorders in the surveillance, maybe on the, some flash drives, but in fact, 59% of those data created in general, we are still put on the magnetic hard drives. So that means let's focus on this part of our business. What will be next with the real-time data growing? That is, in 2017, the real-time data growing was plus 15%. In 2025, the prediction is that we'll have more than 30% of growing. Is it an evolution or revolution? Maybe, maybe evolution. Revolution, maybe it will be the next step. In 19... 60s, we have the mainframe, like a centralized. After that, in the 80s up to 2000, that it was the client-server solution, like a distributed. And from 2005 up to 2020, it's like a mobile. Cloud, everybody would like to have everything in the cloud. But our prediction, like a general data prediction, is like we'll have the rise of the edge, so the data will be distributed and we must be prepared of that. So not only cloud, not only centralized, but only also we must focus on another sites. From which side the, the, the data are generated? So, smart city. I think that everybody knows what's going on with the smart city and every, every city would like to be like a smart one to, to help uh, decrease the criminals and other things. This is the one point. The second point is the cameras in education. Not only campus, not only e-learning, but general in education like a vertical market. The third really, really growing market is the cameras in the manufacturing. Almost every company, every manufacturer has a production slide equipped with the cameras, small cameras which are 
checking on the each level of the production what's going on with the components. This is also really, really useful information for everybody that we must focus on that. And then what I said three minutes before, OK, cloud is a one option. But our prediction is that not only the cloud, we must also build the endpoints and the edge to be prepared to the explosion of the data. And education, surveillance, smart city, even the manufacturing, is, is it really, really popular that let's call everything like a surveillance. If you are using the cameras and the storage, let's take it together like a surveillance. And here, OK, what is the most important? Maybe, maybe the endpoint like a cameras, maybe storage, maybe cloud. In fact, every tier is playing a really, really important role. So that means if we have endpoints, no matter, it could be camera, it could be even any other, even drones, like we just already <laughs> saw, that those devices could be like our endpoints. And after that, all endpoints, they are transferring data to the edge. No matter is the local edge, like your local uh, recorder, or just centralized, like uh, some server. From this, we are moving the data to the cloud, that everybody can have really, really easy access if you are having an internet connection. But please be, please be careful that internet connection sometimes is not so good, and we must based on our centralized storage. OK, we asked some installers and some agency what is the main focus for the system integrators. And OK, many, many of them just said, OK, they would like to keep up, keeping up with the technology. Another just retiring the employees because, OK, we need some hands to the work. Increasing sales, also this is really important. And at the last point, we have that, OK, controlling cost. So those research can show us that, OK, technology is really important, employees are important, and sales for sure, but cost, not exactly. So let's focus what we can do with money they, customers they can invest. We had previously the technology 1.0, 2.0, of 3, 4, and try. now, OK, 4.0. Sometimes we are hearing that it is 5.0. I am really, really waiting that somebody will announce that, OK, we have new industry like 6.0. I didn't hear about it, but pretty soon I will hear. I really believe. OK, let's keep the first one, the second one. Let's focus on the third and fourth. Here we have video surveillance evolution. Evolution because the resolution just became bigger and bigger, and the demands on the storage is really, really important here. And, and we must arrange storage to have the videos from the megapixel cameras, like 4 megapixel, 6, 8, 12, or even higher. And exactly the same, it's with the surveillance, that we have endpoints like cameras, what is the uh, capture the video. We have edge, like our local recorders. And after that, we have a cloud with centralized storage, which we can use uh, through the internet connection everywhere all over the world. Oh, sorry. And, OK, let's make a simple calculation. If we have 16 cameras, 2 megapixel, and we would like to work in 24 hours per seven days, and we would like to keep the video for one month, we need at least nine terabytes. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, they're trying from, from my previous experience that, OK, two, two terabytes, the hard drive is enough. Maybe, maybe four terabytes. For six, forget. Yeah, but from the calculation, we need at least nine terabytes. OK, this is the only 2 megapixel. What will happen if we'll change the resolution up to 4K? If you would like to change the resolution up to 4K, so twice, not twice, twice, it's storage, it's necessary, twice time. So that means not 9, but 18. OK, we have 
two megapixel cameras, and we would like to switch 4K. How about the pixel? We have four times more pixels. Twice time like a storage, but four times like a pixel. We need some storage to protect our pixels. OK, I know that Word would like to be lazy. Let's make the compression, put many, many pixels together, and we'll have the better uh, data. Better means less data to, to keep. OK, H264, H265, even H265+. H2, plus. With those compressions, we can save 30% of our storage. But in fact, still, we need almost three times more storage from 4K comparing to the 2 megapixel. Okay. OK. So this is the evolution. What happened? We have the analog system. We have, we have a megapixel system. And right now, we are going to take action with the smart city, with the banking, with the retail. So, also in the previous uh, presentation, I heard the tech. OK, we have artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, this is generated data twice, fair, maybe more times. Because we, have, we know that, OK, we have a frames with movie, but also we would like to have the color of the car, face recognition, and any, any accidents on, on the city. So we need to be prepared for the artificial intelligence also in surveillance. How the data is growing? OK, previously from 2014 up to, up to this year, it was more or less linear. But after 2019, it will be not linear. It will be explosion of the data. OK, how we are prepared for this, for the, with the technology? 13 years ago, we had 500 gigabyte drive. For this year, for 13 years, we built the single drive like a 16 terabytes. It isn't here. Sorry, official, uh, official sales will be start from 4th of October, but OK. Single drive could be 16 terabytes in the one box. So that is the, that is the evolution in the, in the hard drives that, OK, not, not 500, not 1 TB, not 2 TB. OK, we still have it. But we are focused on the highest capacity, like 16 terabytes. I know that our recorders manufacturer will be ready pretty soon with that. I remember 2000, in 2016 that we announced that 10, 10 TB hard drives, like a single drive, and everybody, oh my goodness, it's, it's not support. But after three years, it's fully support. So I really believe that next year or next two years, 16 terabytes will be really useful. <laughs> How it's possible? with the technology for sure. In 2020, we'll be still using the HAM technology, but we are ready for the next step with new technology. On the booth, we are presenting the Mach 2, how it's working. It is our future that we can cover the storage needs twice time faster and have a bigger capacity in the single drive still. What will be the future after the Mach 2? Right now, we don't know, but still we are working on this, and for sure we'll be know it pretty soon. For the artificial intelligence, we have Skyhawk. Skyhawk, the points. Every time I am saying, do not use the single desktop drive to the surveillance. It is not suitable for that. If we are using the dedicated drive, we have three times bigger workload, we have support up to 64 cameras for streaming from the cameras on the drive. And we have another software, like ImagePerfect, to do not lose any frames. And we have a health management to help us, help our customer system integrators to manage our drives directly from the recorders. That is, that is our future, to make let's work by our NVRs, our drives, not for us. Image perfect, with huge uh, buffer on the, on the hard drive, we can easily recognize that, OK, the data coming, writing, and reading are still the same. And we have lower service costs, lower, less dropped frames, 
and that is work for machine, not for us. We could be only informed that something happened, and please check it. How is it working? It's working really simple. We have one, one single page in, the, in our recorder software, and you can easily recognize if the hardware is working perfect, if not. If not, we have some information. OK, I, am, I have a normal, abnormal workload. I have the higher temperature. Please check it. Sometimes the hardware will do instead of us. So hardware can read the smart and make the auto detection. Is it OK if not, or not? If not, just take an action. And also here, I would like to present that storage is only not, surveillance not, is in, not in focus only from our side. Here I present the, the partners with which we are working, and I am, I, I, am be, I am pretty sure that many, many of us can recognize even five or more logos of the companies from which we are, you are working every, every day. That's all. This is the evolution in storage. Thank you very much.